Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, come on, um, talking about energies here, interesting time, there's going to be a lot of shifts and uh, I'm going to be making it uh, tomorrow a, an extending uh, about this uh, new moon that it's coming because it's a very special, we're going to talk about more in the depth, but uh, this is the quick uh, astro gravitation report for you guys. Uh, hopefully that's going to help you, guiding you with uh, in your life, because tomorrow we are having uh, the new moon. Uh, that new moon, it's going to be happening on the 24th uh, to 25th degree of uh, Cancer, which is that is a represents the man will is overshadowed by a bigger power. But at the same time, we are going to have uh, something uh, going on in the sky, which is the North Node and the South Node, they're going to shifting. But what are they shifting in? And how this is all connecting with the new moon? Especially with this period that it begins. So, talking about that, uh, um, the North Node is going to move into the third degree of areas, which is, is represents uh, establish a personal boundaries. But that is going to be facing why. Why are you doing this? And if you look at it, uh, um, uh, the meaning of the degrees of this. I'm going to be talking more on the extended reading uh, tomorrow. Uh, the 30th degree of Libra, which is the south node, is talking about the holistic ways of life. You find a new holistic ways in there. So they're both talking about healing. You're establishing your personal boundaries for a holistic ways, but all that is going to affect in and impact what? the family this is why this uh, new moon in cancer that is going to be happening at one o'clock pay attention it's at one o'clock uh, today uh but before i'm talking about the one o'clock i'm going to look at it in this so i'm going to be talking to you more about the uh, one o'clock but in the morning the most important part and all the important work that you're going to be looking at there that is going to be when you wake up the midheaven at seven o'clock is going to be together with the north node that is a beautiful trine towards the towards the feminine and the masculine energies which is venus and mars talking about actions doing something proactive in the powerful meaningful way and at the same time developing something new something great um, that is a mid-heaven that's going to be squaring uh, the sun and uh, the moon. It's going to be like, uh, it's not about only intuitions and authority. If it, that is not leading to a proper transformations, that is not going to be for the right situations. And if you feel like you are stopped of moving something, doing something, engage it in something, that is going to be this blockages. But who blockages are those? Yours. And when you look at this, uh, Mars and Venus, they're still uh, uh, very close to each other. They're helping. The masculine energies, they don't have these divine energy aspects anymore. They don't have this uh, yacht uh, in there. Mars is in the fourth degree. But Venus is still in the divine energies with Saturn and uh, Pluto. So through the communications, they are written through the North Node and the Mid Heaven. They are talking. They know what to do. They understand this process of changes i listen to them so uh talking about this uh, eight uh, o'clock energies that's going to be a jupiter with the mid heaven uh, the growth is going to be presenting there specifically talking about mars that energy is going to be um a very powerful um during the the timing uh, there you're going to find out how the moon and the sun are coming together the intuitions and authority are coming in there but if the tuition or authority is going to challenging the returning of the past, you can't. Because Pluto he says, like, you have unfinished business. You can't go ahead and start new business when you have unfinished the old. You can't go out to build something new when you don't understand why the old failed. And in your life, you're going to find this is situations because that's how you grow. Because you're building the same things over and over and over and they're crashing over and over and over again. But what about if you're creating families that are crashing over and over again? And that is it, the main lessons in there. You to have this personal boundary to say, stop, we need to heal. We need to look at this energies. And 
look at yourself what do you have in the first degrees of of uh, Taurus last degrees of Aries the last degrees of um, of uh, Libra and uh, the front uh, uh, the first degrees of Scorpio what is it down there within the five degrees uh, spent uh, in there so it's uh, as well is like what do you have uh, and the degrees of uh, talking about the uh, cancer and uh, Capricorn uh, Leo situations uh, in as well because that's I'm talking about uh, this last degrees of Leo and the last degrees of Aquarius and the first degree of Capricorn that is gonna be uh, affecting those areas um, so talking about like nine o'clock this is gonna be a preparations for um, the new moon um, at 10 o'clock mid heaven it's gonna be at the Gemini you're looking at the friendship mess uh, in there what is it going on uh, I mean the energy is gonna be bubbling up uh, at 11 o'clock there's gonna be this beautiful divine yacht uh, that is gonna help like any to be friendship maps with everything that goes on look at it from the friendship zone take a look at the two opposite side and be friend with the both the good and the bad to see your destiny so uh 12 o'clock uh, uh that energy is gonna enter in uh, cancer you're gonna begin to feel what's going on with the family maybe you're expecting a lot of things in the family uh mm -hmm. let me tell you that during those periods a lot of the people have uh, issues within the family within the situations that could be a trigger from old family issues towards you that's what pluto retrograde it's like hey go back in there be pro within your family in there all right let me send you back oh you're in authority but you're now looking at how to cooperate i'm gonna teach you so uh mid heaven there it's right there uh it shows up with sand and it's like hey old lessons he has not been learned what do you got in there so there could be a lot of uh energies that is gonna be boiling it up and uh, talking about one o'clock that boiling up is gonna come at mid heaven the moon and the sun they are both all three of them they are in the 24 degrees of cancer that is a one out officially you know really the power of uh, uh the new moon is gonna be the moon it's a 24 degrees 10 minutes mid heaven 24 degrees 23 minutes the sun 24 degrees 53 minutes talking about that there's gonna be the wheel of the divine that is going to be coming in and it's like you have an authority within the family no you don't there is no authority on the family in the family there is a union and you have to become a union intuition and the son there is no more authority there cannot be authority of the one cannot be authority of the other lessons of adam and eve try to be an authority can't so talking about all this uh, energies you're going to be facing it Currently, the North Node, it's zero degrees, zero two minutes. That is uh, within Taurus. It's like the last squeeze right there that you are going to be facing uh, from within. There's kind of like uh, restrictions of not doing things in the material things. It's going to come in and all of a sudden it's going to kick in. It's going to be kicking uh, very quick. Um, two o'clock, three o'clock, the energy is going to be very interesting because uh, it's gonna pass through Mercury through Lilith you're gonna see the shadow side uh, be mindful communications if you communications doesn't happen that's mean they're not supposed to happen okay if you the communications they are based out of the ego just forget about it forget about it let the things flow natural way uh, with this so uh, mid heaven has been there and Leo that is a like a lot of squaring towards Uranus I mean we're talking about mercury mid heaven venus uh and lilith all four of those uh, they're squaring uranus it's like the universe says like no you have too much in there you have not grow i'm not giving you right now no 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 and no if you're hearing the words no tomorrow don't take it personally you have to learn to accept the words no within you all right uh talking about later on about this uh, four o'clock energy is going to be triggering mars 
and uh, that won't be a, a funny you have to be able to handle your temper your energy is like i want to act i want to just no no you don't you have to following the path of growth are you matured to handle all this and stop building things stop acting things that you know that down the road they're gonna crash that is a uh, a one positions that is there and uh, we are talking about the north node it's zero degrees zero minutes within taurus it's kind of like a very very close in there you're gonna feel that shift on the next hour with 5 p.m whether the north node officially is gonna be entering areas this is gonna be the time that you're gonna be like you know what i had enough of people telling me what me what to do they're not healthy things inside of it i gotta have my personal boundaries i need to heal this from within because i need to have a, a healthy family a hate healthy world and a lot of the people could be affecting so much within the planet and i'm only talking about this tomorrow so um at six o'clock uh, those energies uh they're gonna be begin to bounce begin to calm down the energy is gonna be a little bit like okay we got through the storm things happen shift happen let's see what we need to do okay let's see what we need to do to balance at uh, seven o'clock uh, this energy is, is going to be going at 28 degrees of libra let me talk about a little bit about this so we have mid heaven at 28 degrees we have a pluto at 29 degrees okay we have a venus at 28 degrees we have neptune at 27 degrees 37 minutes there and we have the moon that it's at 27 degrees now the north node is 29 degrees on the opposite side this is going to be the moment that you're going to feel this energy of the shift of what you've been done in the past what was the uh, holistic ways you took within yourself and what you need to do right now to have these beautiful healthy boundaries from within yourself about having a better future for you with in you uh you're gonna be facing the fight within the authority the intuitions which is that's gonna be the moon and the sun fighting all this energy with the north node you're gonna find out the oppositions with pluto that is a from a lot of people they now want to change because they think that they're gonna lose the control you don't have the control anyway things happens on their own way you forcing things doesn't lead to anything all forcing all force things in the world leads to crash one way or another simply because they've been forced and every time when the forcing will it is there there is a a force opposite of that will it's called freedom so uh, talking about all these energies that's going to be triggered the humanity they're going to be trigger you as well and uh, looking at on these energies maybe at that time you're going to be feel a little bit offset a little bit awkward but looking at within you you're going to find out what you need to clear out be mindful warning that uh, at eight o'clock uh, mid heaven it's going to be square mercury and it's going to be opposing uranus this is the moment of time where some of the people they just decide under the aggravations energies under the the situations within them to send the nasty messages wrong messages situations they're not good situations they're not right and during all that positions in there you are going to feel what is in right the right thing to do it is learn the lessons from before for the personal growth which is jupiter but the mid heaven is going to be opposing jupiter you have to go through the learning of the past if you don't learn from the past mistakes you're going to keep repeating them over and over and over until you learn them that's how that goes and uh nine o'clock is going to be uh also intense energies but um I'm talking about the 10 and 11 o'clock uh, mid heaven it's going to be at 26 degrees of uh of uh, sag and that's going to be divine energies aspects with uh, the moon and uh, the sun 
and talking about it at the end of the day, uh, you're going to be find out that, like it or not, the intuitions and the moon have to come together under one common vision, one common goal, the need of understanding to transform and the need to understand that these things has to happen. And if you don't change your mind, the mind is going to be changed by the things that happen in life for a better family, what you are going to do with in the family, inside of you, your understandings about family. That's going to be a big lesson because later on we are going to have full moon. The sun is going to be at Leo, but the moon is going to be at Aquarius. And that is going to be the old way, the new way fighting from within. But that is a whole another story. When we get to there, I'm going to let you um, uh, let you know. But for right now, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for the supporting. And uh, guys, hopefully this report helps you out. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the extending version of this report. What is going to be there? I'll see you all tomorrow. Be love, guys, and be peace. Mm -hmm.